Uh, welcome back once again friend here we are going to evaluate the limit of another trigonometric function trigonometric expression and that is cos 2x minus 1 divided by cos x minus 1 right uh, like see again I want to tell you here if you just ensure uh, here x tends to 0 or simply x as a 0 then what it will be now see here cos 2 times x that will be 0 finally and cos 0 that is 1 and it will be 1 minus 1 right and in downstream also cos 0 so it will be 1 minus 1 and finally you're going to get 0 over the 0 that's undefined value you cannot determine the value of such things in that way right so we need to do in something different way right we need to use some standard uh, values right then only we can solve the problem so here mm, again I want to tell you what is our standard form limit when angle tends to 0 uh, sorry when angle tends to 0 cosine of the angle equals to 1 this is our standard form so we need to convert in that way and anyhow we should not get 0 over 0 form we should not get like that right so for that what can I do now here uh, everybody can think that we need to do some trigonometric operations right so what uh, what I can do let me tell you here since here is a cos cos 2 two 2x right cosine of 2x and I know uh, that uh, you are well known with this formula let me write here cosine of 2x is always equal with 2 cos square x minus s uh, minus 1 right so cos 2x cosine of 2x is always equal with 2 cosine square of x minus 1 so the same formula I'm going to use it here right then what happens let's see here 2 cos square x minus 1 and this minus is left here right so th this cos 2x and uh, this is this much part only okay and this minus 1 is here so don't confuse and again whole divided by cos x minus 1 cos x minus 1 let's proceed in this way until we're not getting some some good result okay some good result means until we are not getting some uh, not uh, some form that is not in the form of 0 over 0 right and now next step like see 2 cos square x minus the no, minus 1 minus 1 that will be minus 2 so 2 cos square x minus 2 over the cos x minus 1 and again limit x tends to 0 right so here I'm taking 2 common and then I'll be left with cos square x minus 1 and here I'll get again cos x minus 1 now here it is in the form of you know a uh, kind of res standard result it is a square minus 1 right this is a square minus b square simply you can say that is a minus b times a plus b right so same thing I'm going to convert over here it is now limit when x tends to 0 2 times cos x minus 1 right and cos x plus 1 and whole divided by cos x minus 1 so here what you're getting here just look at this yes see cos x minus 1 and cos x minus 1 both are the same so you can easily cancel out each other and you're going to get here limit x tends to 0 2 times cos x plus 1 right almost you're going to get a very good result now see since this is a constant right this 2 is a constant you can take out outside or you can leave it also and now see if you just plug the value of x now here so cos 0 is 1 and we are not getting any f any any result that is in the form of 0 over 0 so now 2 times cos 0 that is 1 plus 1 right that is 2 times 2 that is equal with 4 and that's our answer I hope you understand the problem and similar kinds of problem will be doing more and if you, f if you have some more complex problem or you're feeling some hard problem then please try to mail me I will try to help you if I'll get once a free time right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye and please don't forget to subscribe bye bye